What is good, Nation? It's Stock J back with another video. And in this one, we're going to be talking about the one and only AMC stock and break down something very important about AMC because I believe that Wyckoff could be used to kind of encompass the squeeze of AMC. Now, I know you guys might think this is crazy, but once you actually see this, it's going to make a lot of sense. And once it makes sense, everything is going to come into play and you will understand why Wyckoff is very relevant and how AMC may move in the future. Now, before I break anything down about AMC, before I talk about what's going on right now with the share price and what this means for uh the current state it's in i gotta mention a couple of things before starting firstly i'm not a financial planner don't take any of this as financial advice whatsoever and also if you guys can please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this it not only benefits me it benefits the entire ape community as a whole and the last things if you guys can please check out the mumu link down below and into the description if you sign up for mumu the link down below and deposit a hundred dollars into the account you're guaranteed up to 15 free stocks each worth up to two thousand dollars and the best part is any of these 15 free stocks could be a free tesla share a free apple share or a free amc share it's a limited time offer the offer ends in just six days so please check it out before they run out but that's out of the way let's get on with the video so if you don't know what white cough is it's basically just formation that happens in a lot of stocks during a bunch of different phases and this was a theory that came out many centuries ago actually and the way it works is many stocks tend to encompass these price actions during their daily moves on a day-to-day -day basis on a month-to-month -month basis or whatever and we can actually use this to understand the phase we are in as institutions dictate the prices of these stocks so what happens is institutions have a tendency of accumulating a lot of shares during certain phases in time and then they let the stock run and that's when they kind of like let go of a lot of these shares and they make money on a daily basis when they do this so what does this mean for amc well let me show you guys something we have amc right here all right this is amc from january to june 2021 notice how similar these charts are are they exactly the same no but they tend to have some similarities first off amc ran up in january we drop down we get a bounce preliminary support we drop down to the selling climax i don't know why i put sell test right there should be selling climax so we have the selling climax or something like it we have the automatic reaction sell test push up notice how we push up to this high range right here similar to this but instead of coming all the way down for another sell test in phase b we actually held up a lot higher because institutions started buying like crazy instead of letting it push down even lower they just like started buying we saw lots of buying happening and at that time the buying pressure was a lot more powerful right so what happened was they the buying pressure came and came and came there's this big accumulation right over here and what do we do we formed this cup and handle before we kind of had that mini squeeze in june right and what's interesting is look at the phases we push up we come down we have the last point of support right here we push up to the sign of strength come down you know lps is already there then we push up and we squeeze this led to the big run-up right you guys can see how all the stages almost all of them really played out except for the cell test in phase b which goes to show sometimes we could see variations of this so what about right now what's happening right now to amc i believe it's very possible we're in that phase right now and let me show you so right now amc has been going through this so the first thing to note is that we have the accumulation schematic right here amc was dropping down for many many months from 2021 up until i could go like uh, until like march for instance so then what happened was we have preliminary support here we push up a bit we drop down with the selling climax all of a sudden we get a big spike in volume as volume pushes up we have this big move to the upside now this wasn't necessarily the automatic reaction in a way this is kind of like a variation where we have the automatic reaction and then this big move here in one so sometimes that can happen too so this was like a mix between the automatic reaction and the next run-up it happened in one big move during the march run-up we had and then after that we got a big rejection amc came crashing down well it's just like this phase right here see how it's like crashing down here that's what happened here that took us to the cell test in phase b what happens after the cell test in phase b we tend to get another push up then we start to see another run up 
And this run up tends to actually be a little bit lower than this big one right here that led us to the sell test. What do you notice? You, you notice that there are two main peaks typically in Wyckoff. There's this peak, there's this peak. It looks very similar here. Notice how the sell test in phase B is lower than all the lows here, right? The sell test in phase B is the low one. What's happening here? Same thing, guys. So what does this tell us about AMC? We are currently, I believe it's very possible, we just witnessed phase B, the middle of phase B, where AMC uh, pushed up right here in August. So what is AMC said to do? Well, the answer is it really depends. Sometimes these phases are like super fast. Sometimes they're very slow. But you will notice an uptrend here. See my cursor, guys? There's an uptrend here. We have the sell test in phase B as the low. We push up. We have a new low. That's the last point of support. And then we start to push up again. We start to respect an uptrend over and over and over again. Just like how like right here, AMC is starting to respect an uptrend. And that's why I'm pretty confident AMC is not coming down to like $6 flat. It looks like she's going to hold uh, these ranges. So what I'm seeing in AMC is one day in the future, there's going to be the sign of strength. And you'll notice the sign of strength tends to be, it could be a little higher than this initial run up, or it could be exactly the same or at a very close range. Well, what you'll notice is the next time we have this big run up, that's when a squeeze like event is most likely going to happen because that would complete the cycle. Look at what happened last time. Let me show you this. AMC is oversold. Institutions are buying it like crazy. Eventually, this thing's going to run. Let me show you this. When we formed the sign of strength right here, SOS, AMC formed the double top completing the cycle almost in phase D, and that led to the squeeze in phase E. Are we almost there? The answer is, it depends. So let me show you what's going to happen. Let's go all the way back to right now. It's very slow. That's the one thing that kind of bothers a lot of people, how slow this thing is to really happen. And I understand frustration and patience, but right now we're in a better phase than before, before the next squeeze-like move comes. So what is AMC going to do? Firstly, guys, discard the dates. We don't know when this is going to happen. As I mentioned in previous videos, I want to see a double top form. I want to see AMC reach that 18 to 20 range. The next time it does that, that's going to be the sign that this thing, in my opinion, is getting ready to squeeze. By squeeze, I don't mean like a million a share, a hundred thousand a share. I just mean a massive run up to perhaps all time highs, maybe to a hundred dollars, something like that. So let me show you. What's going to happen is AMC might push up like this. Could come down a little bit. Maybe it does. But we're not going to come all the way down here. One day, I don't know if it's going to happen in October, November, December. I don't know when. One day, AMC is going to push up again. And we are going to form kind of like a double top here like this all right this is just an example once we form this this is going to be the sign of strength we come down chop a bit then we're going to see a, a squeeze like move and this thing is going to take off like this right that's one possibility now if it doesn't happen that soon what could happen is it takes a while to really come into play because we might just barely be entering the last point of support we might barely just start pushing up slowly. And it may take a little bit longer for us to get there. AMC may not actually reach that like sign of strength phase until like December, for example. Maybe later than that. It might happen like this. AMC comes up, slow run up, big rejection. And then boom, January of next year. Just for example we have a squeeze like move where this thing pushes all the way up to some like crazy high number all time highs probably just like that right so that's what i think is likely going to happen and this is what wyckoff would be telling us because all we're waiting for would be 
that SOS phase kind of like it's got to be one of these could it either happen like around October maybe it doesn't happen for a few months later maybe it won't happen till December either way guys within the next few months I think it's very likely we're gonna reach that SOS phase maybe it happens way sooner so I'm watching for that double top that cup and handle the big one we we've, we've been seeing how do we know Ames is likely going to explode the next time I think this thing hits it breaks past the high here which would be like $16 when you adjust your charts the next time we see 18 bucks that's gonna be the sign in my opinion we're gonna get a big rejection at first come down a bit and then we explode just like right here like this see how we got that initial rejection after the SOS phase then we explode I think that's what AMC is going to do when the time is right so when are we gonna do it honestly guys nobody truly knows but it, we know what to watch for and when the time is right it will most likely come so let's take this let me just show you guys once we get the run up to so like right here you can see a move like this just like that if it doesn't happen during this time frame it could happen later on maybe early next year right it's gonna come in my opinion eventually some shorts may cover something may trigger it it's just a matter of time well guys thank you all so much for listening please have an absolutely fantastic rest of the day i want the best for all of you i hope i brought some value into your guys's lives and i have to make it clear when it comes to this amc play it's a game of patience you have to be patient eventually the time will come so thank you all for listening and i'll see you guys in the next one amc to the moon because the long-term future is bright and peace out.